Hey, Dax World here on the streets of downtown Everett. Hey, you know, in Everett, there's a lot of entertainment opportunities from your big box arenas to small bars and clubs right here on Hewitt Avenue. Tonight, we're heading over to Pappy's Pizza, where we're going to be checking out a couple of bands. Headlining is Johnny Punani, my favorite Everett-based rockabilly band. Let's check him out. set you did there here at uh, Pappy's Pizza. You're Nick with uh, Double Chin Twins and Johnny Punani. Tell me about your band, how, you know, what you guys do, what's up? Well, um, Johnny Punani, we're, we're trying to get a local scene started up because um, Ian and Larry, two of the members, came from Hawaii and there was a really strong scene there because you're on an island, you got to make music somehow. So um, they came here and they were kind of bummed with the lack of the music scene, so we're trying to start it up with some local shows from local bands and stuff. So we got... Um, Double Chin Twins, me and my little brother, we play every once in a while, and then the F-Heads, and a Global Killer, and they can make it to that Interesting duo, huh? Just two guys playing guitar and drums. Uh, can you afford a bassist? No. Too Cost too much. Hard to work with. Uh, where, where are we doing this interview, by the way? In the loo. In the John. <laughs> Mind if I take a poo? <laughs> Wash my shoe off. So what's going on in Everett? There's an Everett uh, scene. You guys want to try to get something going? Or what? It's like three bands. Johnny and then Punani. Whatever you can put together. Johnny Punani. So. Johnny. Punani, Punani, la, la, la. <laughs> Johnny Punani. So, no, All right. They're putting on these shows, so. Johnny Punani's putting on the shows, so. That's been helping out. Just some local shows. Cool. Hey, good luck. You guys are great. Yeah, thank you. We just wrapped up the show here at Pappy's Pizza with Johnny Panani headlining. Tell us about the show. It was, uh, it was pretty good. Yeah, we had a pretty pretty decent turnout. We expected uh, a, a lot fewer, yeah, actually. We probably around 40 people, but it ended up being a lot bigger than we thought it would be. So. Tell me about your efforts of trying to get some music going on in Everett. Well, basically, we've been doing shows in Seattle as long as we've been a band, and we just decided that it's kind of just too much effort you got to drive 30 miles there so and half the time you don't even make money when you play at the gigs so we kind of just decided we would start something ever because kids here don't really have much to do and they get into drugs and all sort of stuff so so um we're trying to start a local scene here as far as kids coming at all ages show and that's one thing that um we we really need to offer to everyone is because 
people need something to do on a Friday, Saturday night, and what better way than just to go to the show and people get influenced and, you know, hopefully more music comes out. And it's just a really great community aspect as far as like bringing people together. Next Tell us time. about Johnny Punani. Is that a legend of a man or a... <laughs> Actually, um... They are the legends. We are the legends. No, um, Johnny Punani, we were originally voodoo vampires, and I was like, dude, we need just something rock and rolly. We needed something and different, because we were trying to get out of this, the horror genre kind of thing and just play straight up rock and roll. Um, yeah, so Johnny Punani was just kind of like, uh, it's a funny name, and we just kind of thought we'd roll with that. Besides, we were both better. Hawaiian, so we just like, Hawaiian. Punani. That was one of the big things there, Punani. Yeah. Biggest thing there. Good. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.